Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad up, touch the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you should make a backup up here using your iCloud. If you have no more iCloud space, just go ahead and hook it up to your computer and make it backup right there. It's very important to make that backup just in case something goes wrong. Your second option might say software update available. However, it's not going to say that for everybody. So let's just scroll down and we're going to go into general. Under general, second option will say software update. Under software update, make sure automatic updates are turned off, by the way. Now, some of you may see download and install. Others might just see install, and that's because it downloaded the update already. Depends on your settings. Right now, we're just going to tap on download and install. Once you tap there, it might ask you for a passcode if you have one. Then it's just going to start the downloading process. Doesn't matter if your iPhone iPad touch turns off when you're downloading. Not really. Nothing big happens. You just have to re-download things. However, if it turns off when you're installing, then it's a huge deal because you might have to restore everything. And that's why we made that backup just in case. So make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. And even if you have, let's say 99% of your battery, I would still hook it up to some electricity whenever you're making any updates, even with updates as small as this one. So the whole process shouldn't take you guys more than 30 minutes, even if you have really slow internet, unless it's very, very slow internet and 500 megabytes is a lot for you, then sure, this could take longer. Other than that, for most of you, this shouldn't take more than 15 minutes with regular speeds. And yes, with older devices, this could take a little bit longer than other people with newer devices. So for example, an iPhone 6S might run a little bit slower than an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13. At this point, you could just leave your iPhone iPad up touch to just download and install by itself. Once it's done downloading, it's just gonna install it by itself. So you could just leave it and let it be. You're gonna see later on app logo and loading bar. It's just gonna restart and then we're gonna be pretty much done. Once you finally download it, you're gonna see this install now. Just tap on install now. It's gonna verify the update. Right now we're gonna see it close up, app logo and a loading bar. So you're gonna see the Apple logo in the loading bar twice. The second time it's gonna go a lot faster. And then that's it. You're just gonna see this software updated, done. You can scroll up and then you would be all done. Right now you can go to your settings and just check out that everything went okay, so general. And right here we can see that we're in iOS 15.0.2 and that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.